Good afternoon, TOP Nation, and welcome to TOP Be Inspired in 5. I'm Elder Marcus Hogan, and I just came to offer you uh, some short inspiration on today. Um, my thought today comes from Daniel, the 10th chapter, the 12th verse. Um, I just want to paraphrase. I want to tell you a story real quick about Daniel and uh, his prayers to God. A short story uh, to remind you that your voice has power. Your voice has power. Uh, there was a story where Daniel prayed to God. He prayed to God on behalf of his nation, on behalf of his people. And the Bible says that for 20 days, he, 21 days, he got no response. The heavens were silent. He heard nothing from God. He saw no results from God. He saw no reaction from God. So it seemed as though God had not listened to his prayer. But I want to tell you something uh, so amazing about that story is that on the 21st day, an angel appeared unto Daniel and he says unto him, the very first day you prayed, your prayers went up. But I was in warfare with the prince of Persia. And it was so heavy that the archangel Michael had to come and assist me. All that doesn't really matter. But I want you to focus on the fact that Daniel's prayers were so powerful that the enemy wanted to stop his assignment of his words from reaching heaven. I want you not to doubt your prayers, not to doubt your voice, because sometimes we can pray to God. And because it seems as though we hear nothing back, because it seems as though the situation hasn't changed, because it seems as though our prayers are amiss or silent or falling on deaf ears, sometimes we can begin to question whether our prayers or whether our voice even matters. That's the voice of the enemy. I came to tell you that everything you speak in the name of God, according to his word, has power and it has destiny assigned to it. So don't get discouraged in the silence. Whatever you're facing on a day-to-day -day basis, whatever you're facing in your family, in your workplace, whatever the enemy has launched against you, remember to use your words. Don't stop praying. The old saints used to say, saints, don't stop praying. For the Lord is not. Saints, don't stop praying. He'll hear your cry. And I just want to remind you the same thing that the old saints told us, that God is listening to you. And don't let the enemy let you become silent, but cry loud and spare not. And remember that even if you don't see the results yet, that God's working that thing out. If you can't see it, if you can't trace it, don't worry about it. It's already being set in motion. Just continue to put your faith on it, continue to put your words on it, and continue to put your prayer on it, and watch in due season you will reap. Just keep on doing what you've been doing. Be blessed and be encouraged on today. And this is our Be Inspired Five.